Every once in a while, you get an opportunity to do something really special. Today's that day. Alright, we're back at Cape St. Francis and there's a geocache hidden right at the tip of Shark Point. Last entry in the activity log was on the 14th of Feb, that's about a week ago found it. The one before that was also on the 14th of Feb, found it. The one before that on the 13th of January, found it. So it had been found very recently, which means it should probably still be there. Let me show you on the app where we are. There we are right there. Now we got a hike all along this rocky coastline. All along there. And there's our geocache. Almost right at the tip of Shark Point. Difficulty 2, terrain 2, size, regular. Let's go. really rocky and a lot of these stones are actually loose when you step on them you can feel they're moving all right there's a path up there so it means we can get off this rocky section Let's see there if we can get up there Right, almost through. There you go. All right, let's head up here. Fuck. Into the dunes. Check it out. That's where we're going. Right, we got about an hour and a half left till sunset, so that should give us enough time to get there, find it, and get back to the car before dark. Man, it's hot today. Alright, before we hit this next set of rocks, Let's just see where we are. 745 meters. We're about halfway there. Right, getting close. 450 meters. Right, uh, see some footprints here. Which means that somebody was here recently. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention it. There's a little surprise at the end of our journey. About three weeks ago, the ship got wrecked right on this point here. So you can bet your ass we're gonna go check that out. Oh. Man, right, I'm really starting to feel it now. Oh, we're so close, mate. All right, there's Shark Point. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's the shipwreck and the little communications tower. And I think that's where our geocache is hidden. 
All right, let's just have a look here. 104 meters. Oh man, we're so close. Guys, we are so close. It's literally just around this corner. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Right, there she is. Will you look at that? Well guys, there she is. Okay, so this is Shark Point and it's the third most suddenly tip of Africa. Okay, so this ship was wrecked here about three weeks, maybe a month ago. It happened at night time, so couldn't see the rocks. Even with all its navigation equipment, it still managed to get shipwrecked. Right, you know what? Sun's getting low, so uh, let's see if we can find that geocache. Come on, Hobbit. Let's go get that damn geocache. If we can get out of this maze. All right, we're doubling back to that communications tower over there because I'm pretty sure that's where the geocache is hidden. Let's just hope we don't break our necks before we get to it. All right. See what the app says. 170 meters. All right. Here's the communications tower. Wait a second. No, it's back. That way. We gotta double back all the way to there. Okay, 95 meters. At least we're heading in the right direction. Way there in the distance, you can see the lighthouse to so that seal point. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. 14 meters. Okay, it's vibrating. Seven meters. Literally on top of it, three meters. Two meters, where can it be? All right, two meters. You know, when the GPS jumps around like this, um, all you have to do really is just stand still for a minute and uh, give it time to reacquire the signal. All right, we're back to two meters, but I promise you, I do not see anything. Well, it keeps saying two meters, so I might just be right on top of it and I don't even know it.
even see any container. Let's see here. No, nothing there. Keep saying zero meters, and this is the spot. This is it. This is where it's supposed to be, man. It's not here. No. I'm trying to be really careful with these plants. I don't want to damage any of the indigenous plants in this area. I can't find it. All right, well, that's it, guys. I'm pulling the plug. Uh, I can't find it. I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. I don't know if it's been muggled or if I just don't see it, but I've looked and I don't see it. And I'm running out of time. The sun's getting low really fast. And I've still got about a two and a half kilometer hike back to the car. I don't want to get trapped on these rocks at night time. So uh, I'm pulling the pin. And uh, yeah. Too bad. But we'll come back. We'll come back here sometime and look for it. I want to come back anyway because I want to get some drone shots of the shipwreck. So uh, we'll come back here and we'll come look for it again. At least we got to see the shipwreck. All right, so that's my story. End of the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. Oh man. I can't believe I didn't get that one. I was so sure I was gonna get it. You know, when you find these geocaches so often, when the day comes that you go look for one and you don't find it, you're completely crushed. Destroyed, man. It's sad.